And now for a quick update from the backwards camera of darkness and defective lighters apparently. Okay, so maybe not that quick of an update. Hmm. Oh. Didn't know I was that close. How y'all doing? Yes, the hair is still short. With the white boy fade. Also known as the Grant Cardone. Also known as the first person I ever met to have pulled off a white boy fade. So anyways. I do not had the physical or mental energy to get into broadcast mode right now. Um, especially considering that it's probably not going to work. Didn't work last time. And I just don't feel like beating my head into a wall right now. Had a long, long long day good news though got the integra battery covered under warranty so i have a new battery for the integra so i might actually be able to start that sucker up and see what's up with it soon that's fucking beautiful it's been a long time coming <laughs> tried to sort that out a few weeks ago before my mom passed away hmm. yeah first it went dead right before the March flood, then by the time I remembered it again, freaking August flood came. Ah. Yeah. That was me rubbing my head like that. Ah. Oh, dramatically. Dramatastically. Anyways, I don't have a clue what's been happening in the world today, and at this moment, the way I feel, I don't really give a shit, I'm nauseous and I got a headache, and I've been number crunching, trying to reduce startup car costs so we can maybe try to pay for this crap ourselves if we can get a bad credit finance on the trailer on that land. I'm redesigning everything to try to get it all down to as little as possible while still maintaining just a glimmer of showiness. Because I want it to be a, you know, an attractive educational experience. A freaking gigantic central tank filled with Nemo's, literally deformed clownfish, or reject quote unquote clownfish. teach them about acceptance as well as using it as a way to make people aware of the desperate need to restore our oceans and our coastlines and you know starting with Stopping poisoning and that would be good, but there's a lot you can do to play catch up and to compensate for certain levels of activity. Not quite as much as we have now, but the whole idea of stopping emissions won't help, that's bullshit. If you stop now, if you clean it up now, if you have like a decent plan to get it cut, you know 
down eventually to 20%, 10% of what it is today. While actively culturing natural remedies like kelp, mangroves, and this includes transplanting things as the climate changes that cannot transplant itself, which sometimes means physically moving it, sometimes means growing it in captivity and then moving it to, you know, different locations as those locations become suitable to a different species, which includes corals and aquatic plants. Let me put it this way. You're never going to plant enough trees. And trees are never going to be prolific enough. And trees are never going to solve the problem in the ocean to begin with. you got to solve that problem. So you can solve the whole problem by solving the problem in the ocean. And I'm not saying fuck trees. I love trees, but you know. <laughs> We can't, uh, we can't arbor day our way out of this. We need to have, <laughs> like, ocean preservation and restoration day. Two separate holidays. Twitch one time today. We're gonna, I think we're gonna name him Ganju because he's got the symmetrical little swirly kind of marks, kind of like the Shiva clan markings on Ganju from Bleach on his pants. Anyway, and uh, he's a tough old guy, way, way tougher than his actual, um, you know, capabilities. <laughs> He's doing good in there. So we're going to leave him in there. He's got a name now. And Maya's been mostly nice to him today. And really thought about trying to let him earn his way into uh, the plate for sleeping. But um, he just can't dance yet. So I guess it's just a matter of him maturing a little more. And we'll see. We might wind up breeding the super clownfish. And basically this is a mix between the three major or major or minor, whichever one you want to look at it. Uh, different kind of clownfish. Subspecies, anyways. Not the variations within the subspecies. So you have Amphipyrin, which is the clownfish genus, and you have Acelerus, and then you have uh, Percula, and then you have um, the Maroon, which is like more on the Acelerus side, considered to be easier to breed with an Acelerus, or considered to be breedable with an Acelerus, but not a Percula. But they can breed an Acelerus with a Percula. Well, this is an Acelerus with a Maroon. And maybe it's a Celerusness can be bred with a Percula. And we'll have all three different types of clownfish, basically. <laughs> Except for skunk clowns. But those are uh, altogether different. <laughs> their, their, clown, their stripes go down their backs. Uh, horizontally, instead of vertically. But 
this should be. If, if, if we get babies out of this, this will be very interesting. It's been a long time trying to pair them up, that's for sure. It's been a long time trying to just socialize my to begin with. Anyways. She's in charge, that's for sure. Baby mama is in charge. And if the little men don't make her happy, she will fuck them up. <sighs> what were we talking about again? <laughs> oh, the metaphors you find on this channel. <laughs> So anyway, once I figure this out in the sketchbook, I'll do a, uh, I'll do a graphic rendering or something and share it on the channel. How as crappy as I feel, I'm kind of being OCD about sketching this and making my wall-eyed headache get worse and worse, but. I don't think I'll be able to stop once I put the phone down. <sighs> I'm looking at it right now. About to pick it up. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. It for. So, tomorrow, I guess I'll read the headlines <laughs> and do some real time analysis. And, uh,. And then we'll just talk about bleach. Because I don't really care anymore. Like, I'll just, you know, just arrest the motherfucker already. I'm just, I'm just getting tired of this shit. I'm tired of being broke. Spending all my time covering this shit. And, and stressing about that. And stressing about everything else. I'm just, ah. Stressing about stressing. About stressing. About ranch dressing. Cool and refreshing. <sighs> anyway. Pretty tied up, hanging upside down. <laughs> now, if you know that Guns N' Roses song. Comment below. Wait, no, I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have given it away. What band it was. You could name that song from that little bit. Comment below. Yeah. Assuming you feel like being an idiot. As I clearly do right now. <sighs> well... Bleach had an interesting metaphysical metaphor that I'll leave you with before I go. And Kira, my wife, had pointed out that all of the espada just seem to like fighting for the sake of fighting just to prove how bad that badass they are. And I pointed out, hmm, funny parallel they're all hypnotized by pride just as those who were led to rebel were and who could exemplify more as far as pride goes in the character play than Aizen and what's his power oh hypnosis how about that shit Anyways, if you're going to watch Bleach, I highly recommend you get started. Because uh, you can spend a lot of time reading the Bible. 
and find yourself very much confused and not know what to think of what because you didn't spend your life trying to figure it out. But that was the kind of time where you need more of a crash course in <coughs> self-reflection and honor and truth. I recommend two things. Both are fictional works. And they kind of balance each other out. Because one's very much obviously a uh, non-Christian cartoon. But obviously Bleach. And then Frank Peretti, the author. Get yourself this present darkness. Piercing the darkness. The Oath. I, this present darkness by I mean, by far my favorite. Good book, just to learn how things happen on the other side, and why maintaining a prayerful state of mind not only helps you, but helps your helpers. So, anyways, this is uh, the Helper of the Resistance signing off from Baton Rouge. Good night, y'all. Click the like button or whatever, and y'all take it easy, y'all. See you tomorrow. Peace.